so that was a fucking lie. Yeah, that was a rather fast start. If you haven't tuned in before, this is where I end up telling you how to avoid certain kinds of people and what to do if they ever come near you. Welcome to Square Up, and this time, we are talking about a singular person rather than a group of people. Let's get this started. Now, since I didn't have time to do it in the intro, I'm going to say that you, under any means, do not wish and the person I featured in today's video. It's completely against the Church of Yomi, and we do not condone anyone who tries to be a vigilante without prior permission or reason to crusade. I want you to picture yourself in a friendly group chat. A lot of the people there are nice, have your back, and generally never get underneath your skin intentionally. You generally really like these people and you have a blast around them. But then, all of a sudden, someone brings up this developer you've never heard of, and his content seems really good at first. So you end up doing things, then the friends bring up this game that the developer is doing. Everyone is hyper excited for it, even you a little, but everyone joins the server, because they want a roll. You just stay back and only join to see what he's done and what the game's going to be about, and then leave. Next day, the leader of the circle brings that same dev to play a game with you. You really like his witty, but somewhat bad jokes, and you enjoy his company. But then things get really weird extremely fast. He randomly posts Santa from his computer without any prior knowledge, nor considering that people that are way more impressionable than him could be around. He then starts telling stories on how he's a dad with two kids, how he's not married and they share the kids. You at first find it to be really sweet and charming, until you find out he's actually barely above the age of consent at the moment. Actually, he talks about sex a lot, to the point too, where it's uncomfortable to be around him in your discord. Basically, if someone suggests something remotely sexual, when he's around, he'll post ante. He's also obsessed with people with small breasts, and you're thinking to yourself that maybe he likes flies, but it turns out he has Sarah Dante in his computer and you really question his mental state. Deep inside, of course. So now you think he might be a pedo. Can't get any worse, can it? You know, how I generally don't like people who don't put a lot of forethought into their actions? That's what my development principle is. You want to plan things out way ahead of time, so that you know what the system needs and requires. Making a game requires a lot more pure thought than a lot of people give it credit for, and I'd easily say that theory crafting is the biggest component of a game. If your idea is great, and you have a lot of internal support for that idea, there's less room for it to be bad, unless something goes horribly wrong. This lad did not get the memo. Enter, 147 Tom. Roblox user, that also has a good scripting background. He's currently, as of this video, making a rogue lineage type Naruto game, named Raw Ninja. Yes, this does mean it's technically another Naruto online too. Only problem is, it's disturbingly dissimilar to rogue lineage, to the point, where it's just rogue lineage but with a Naruto skin and teams you are forced into rather than voluntarily joining. Now, I love the idea of having teammates in these kinds of games, and it's really nice to have one from the get-go, so that you aren't alone, if you don't have anyone playing with you. However, one huge fundamental flaw in the game, which wasn't thought through hard enough, is the lack of player-side immigration. The game basically has a lack of an ability to really choose where you want to go, and if you happen to not like the village you are born in, then, you're the rogue ninja now. Can't even join a mercenary group. This will make it so that a lot of players will end up quitting the game entirely due to it being a closed community game, and end up creating a huge player vacuum that will never solve itself, with the exception of the leaf village who will be barely affected by the vacuum. Not only that, but if your leader turns out to be incompetent and always starting consults, you can't move to another country with a leader that you do respect, and work there, 
unless you get approved by an admin who has never met you for a day in his life is a human being, and may have biased opinions towards you. That's not how it is in Naruto, where, in fact, immigration and general politics influence the ninja world a lot. Heck, all the villages are fueled by immigration. And God forbid you tell Tom anything he wants to script isn't at all how Naruto works. He will slander you, talk down to you, kick you from everything he owns, and soft pan you from every game he's going to develop from now on. He views you as an inferior being, if his thinking is being challenged. Yes, this has happened to me. Not in my wildest dreams would I end up being kicked immediately after praising him for possibly allowing to tailed beasts to be in the same person, for then saying that we haven't seen any sign of Baruto or Himadori inheriting Kurama's chakra. Now, there's probably things I do not know, but he seems to be the kind of guy who won't sit down for a nice talk. I told you everything I know about him even excluding the human rights violations that are still taking place in the gang chat, as I speak. Also, he has been known for stealing other people's assets over minor inconveniences, and even deals in the Roblox black market. So how do you avoid him? Well, simply don't go on Wrong Ninja or join anything relating to Wrong Ninja. If your friends invite Tom to the server, renounce your friendship with them and either leave or lobby against them to kick him out of the server. However, say he runs into you and you have the same issues I have with him. What do you do then? Make sure you keep Tom out of your development places, as he is practically guaranteed to steal them at some point. Other than that, simply block him. It's the best way to stay safe from his sex offender-like practices. That's the end of the video, and I hope you have a fantastic day ahead.